this is some of my recent acquisitions. I told you about the, the five micrometers I got. There was one of the one inch micrometers, two, one to two, a two to three, and a three to four. As you can see, they're not the latest and greatest designs, but they are very serviceable. And I'm 65 or 66 years old now, and I'm sure these will last me the uh, take the brake off, it'll roll a little easier the rest of my life. Like I say, I used the set of Mitutoyo standards that I got. Is it just me, or does Mitutoyo have the worst foam lining of any tool company on the market? This top one was falling apart. I had to clean it off all the uh, standards, but there was no rust. Everything works good, and I was able to go through and verify these micrometers, and like I say, they all have good repeatability, so I'm happy with the purchase on those. I got five micrometers for $45. One of the other things I got recently, I've got a lathe to level up, is I picked up a stare it precision machinist lathe and uh, that will be very handy I've got a lathe and, and a uh, milling machine to level up I was able to pick up a Greenfield number seven tap handle. Now if you saw A-Bomb's recent uh, video, he took one of these, disassembled it, cleaned it up, buffed it up, and then used uh, bluing on everything but the jaws which he left as uh, polished metal. Very nice looking tap wrench. Now this index holder, if you'll notice the tool has been cut as a tool holder that I can drop onto the, the lower style um, tool post and that gets it closer to the tool post which keeps everything more rigid. I'm looking at getting some more of these. I'd already been thinking about doing this but James Deadman was kind enough to make this to me, make this for me and send it to me. Now you can go on James and watch the video where he made two or three of these and like James uh, I watch his videos. We email back and forth some I've been talking to him about what's going on. He's in North Carolina. So if you would, keep praying for the guys in North Carolina. James Deadman and uh, uh, Tom Knopp at Hilltop Machining. I email back and forth to them quite a bit and uh, watch their videos. They're both very entertaining. So if you need someone to watch go check out their channels they got a whole lot better content than I have so far I think James just made uh, was it 500 subscribers I can't remember what Tom's got but uh, their their channels are coming along hopefully one day soon I can say mine's coming along a little bit but all right I'm on it turn everything off and go to the house and this is Monday had a couple of things come in through the mail today 
as you can see there that is a drill press vise it's a shop box uh, the individual I got it from said he bought it from Grizzly uh, didn't use it much wanted it to go to somebody who was going to use it uh, and I said well, I'll use it he said make offer I did he took it it's mine I got it off the used machine or used machinist tools Facebook marketplace it's a site on Facebook called used machinist tools um, James Green is the administrator of that if you know James good guy the other thing that came in today was a micrometer I've been wanting one of these now I've got air, another stare at mic, but this is the mechanical digital mic. Repeatability on it is pretty good. It's due for calibration though. Don't know if you can see that. So I, I will. You know, it's pretty easy to calibrate a one-inch mic. If it comes down and hits zero, hits the mark. If you look, it's just not getting to the zero a little bit. Maybe a tenth. I might have to adjust that just a little bit. But anyway... I wanted one of those after I saw Mr. Pete's and the glass I want to see if I can get a part for it the glass here is broke doesn't harm the functionality of it but I'd like to replace that I don't know if those are available or not one other thing I got today which is my new pride and joy are some Precision ground bench stones. Steve up at Shark River Machine did these for me. They're like glass. Both sides. And they will almost ring together. I can almost lift that bottom stone off my fingers. Those are sweet. Steve set up to do precision grinding on the stones. And I got some stones and sent them to him so he could practice before starting. He'd have something to practice on. And he was kind enough to send a set of those back which I didn't ask him to when I sent the stones they were for his use whatever he wanted to do with them but like I say he was kind enough to send a set of those back and they they are just so hear that that is sweet the ground on all sides Those will only be used to maintain my precision tooling. Stephen Lang at Shark River Machine, you did excellent work, my friend. As you may know, Adam Booth, A Bomb 79 has uh, been having a giveaway on his channel now I had I had already 
sent a set of machinery's handbook I think it was 24th edition or 25th edition I'm not sure which now to a friend of mine who had his machinery up and running but he didn't have one and um, then I went and purchased another set and I got a real good deal God blessed me on this it was a set of unused 24th edition machinery's handbook and the machinery's handbook guide they were both uh, one of them was like nine dollars the other one was like seven dollars there were no pictures on them in, on of them on eBay and I guess that's why nobody else bid on them I got those from it was Goodwill books and they are perfect one of the uh, books that uh, so let me rephrase that so I had made up my mind to give away a couple of machinery's handbooks to kind of promote my channel as I'm getting started again it's been a horrible summer uh, I had to leave go to Florida spend time with my son he was in the hospital down there uh, in the VA uh, his uh, PTSD had worn him down again. He had to go into the the uh, VA clinic down there. And while I was there, my grandson got his nose broke. So we dealt with that. And I had a niece that has passed away. Um, to all of you who may have high blood sugar, may be pre-diabetic or diabetic please please monitor your blood sugar and follow your doctor's orders she was 46 years old the diabetes wore down her organs and she passed away on us and we we've dealt with that and a few other issues I'd already told everybody that I had my grandsons and my granddaughter up here almost uh, for most of the summer and we really enjoyed that so I didn't, I didn't get anything done so I'm going to be giving away some machinery handbooks machinery's handbooks and um, to promote the channel so please pass the word I'm gonna put it on um, home hobby machining on Facebook and put it on my regular Facebook page along with uh, this YouTube video long story I'm gonna to try to keep it short of course y'all are rolling your eyes now you know how I like to bloviate <laughs>